Welcome back to the spot, guys. We're still hanging out with the wonderful Kitchen Butterfly, and we're helping ourselves to the starter. Yes. We're having a kbekere. What's it? Kbekere. Kbekere is uh, plantain chips. Unripe plantain chips mm -hmm. and ripe plantain chips, and we're dipping it inside the scent leaf. Mm. Scent leaf tins. Yep. How far gone are you? What's 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 going on there? Almost ready. So I've made. I've started the scent leaf curry. Mm -hmm. Essentially, brown chicken. And then mix that with the uh, curry paste, which is the which same is as the dip. And then just added a bit of chilies, halved. So that what kind of chilies? I think it's, at, is it ataro do you call the fat okay. ones? Like okay. scotch bonnet, okay. habanero oh, okay. type chilies. Okay. And, and can you use, um, sorry, I'm just thinking, you know, sometimes if you can't find something or if you're just trying to do stuff at home, can you use um, dried, pepper? dried pepper or cameroon mm -hmm. pepper or something like you that? Use not Cameroon pepper because it's quite it strong spice, yeah. Yeah, and it has a peculiar taste mm -hmm. but dry uh, regular red dry pepper, pepper would okay. be nice just a bit mm. and then uh, le leaves lemongrass leaves mm. oh, as I well just for some where do you find clean? lemongrass in Nigeria please markets it's in the market. most markets market. most markets and you like, can grow it you, you know can grow you can it. grow it grow it, it, too. it grows it grows easily very like you don't have to do a lot of work to tend it and get it to grow mm. but most markets have lemongrass you might have find it dry Yes. As opposed to fresh. Yeah. But there's a market in Lagos. If you go to Uzumba, the market in VI on the okay. bridge, yeah. you find fresh lemongrass. I, I, I like the fact that it's like it's, I like my palate is very, I like to experience and explore stuff. Mm -hmm. And this seems very regular, mm -hmm. but it's just, it's very new to me. Mm -hmm. So, and I like the fact that I haven't tasted this before. And yeah. It's actually very interesting. Well, I, so should, I, should bot I should bottle it. You I should. Very well. Nice. I like it. <laughs> yeah. I, I would yeah. bottle it. You, I know you have it. a. I'll buy it. <laughs> cool. That was what this picture was about, really. Three customers. <laughs> Already, I'm saying, I'm saying. No, but it's really good. And I mean, you, I know you and have a website yeah. or, and, or your, a blog, right? A blog. A blog. I, write, I write a cooking blog. Yeah. Is this recipe going to be on the blog? It'll be on the blog. What's Hallelu the blog? Kitchenbutterfly.com. Okay. Kitchenbutterfly. Because so I know I, I went to that site when I needed help, which I still failed woefully. With my jollof rice. I made jollof rice, basmati jollof rice. Okay. I still didn't get it quite right, but that was where I got the recipe from. I just didn't. The I'm not that great with uh, jollof rice oh, okay. <laughs> in general. Okay, so well, don't try again. Uh, so you do try again. Yeah. That's, that's, <laughs> that's, that's the key thing. I shall, I shall. Uh, yeah. Okay. Well. All right, I'll try to eat when you're done, but we're going to um, move on now to our spot of music. Spot of music. And today we have uh, a music video from someone who's been here before, actually. Yeah, one of our, uh, very, one of our first very first guests. guests on the spot, featuring one of our colleagues. Yes. It's Black Magic. Golden Girl. Golden, Golden Girl. <laughs> That's not even <laughs> Featuring the lovely Cynthia Kamalu. As from his leading now, lady. The leading lady with mm -hmm. a Bonnie and Clyde esque kind of story running through it. They're driving down, cruising, stealing and things from stores. Shout out. Can I shout out the supermarket? Oh, yeah. Shout out the supermarket. <laughs> I buy my noodles there. They're very near my house. <laughs> exactly like a walking distance. You're telling everybody where you live. I see, they, they, there are many houses near there. <laughs> <laughs> we don't be knocking on all the doors. <laughs> So Shout out guys? to Gravitas. I see you. Mm -hmm. I, thought yeah. the, I thought the video was very really beautiful. Cool. Yeah. She, well, Cynthia is she beautiful. Is very beautiful. Very if beautiful you've girl. seen her in Mania also, Mania Magazine. This yes, month, the shoot she did. This, yeah. Was it January of this month? Yeah, I think it was January. January yeah. And she looks beautiful. She's got the whole natural hair thing going on. She has a very striking face. Don't let her your eyes. Big yeah. Because I'm your fine Yeah, interesting video. And Black mm -hmm. Magic is also one of those people who like to tell a story. Yeah. With his lyrics and his videos. So he's just he's just not gonna throw out stuff just because I mean he's yeah. not he's more he's very commercial if I mean, use that word. Yeah. So mm -hmm. it's yeah. It's nice to see him put out material again and Yeah, you know. it's, he was a bit quiet for a while. Yeah. I think he was just trying to figure out, you know, uh, trying to do that grind as they say. Based on belief. She looks based like on belief, yeah. A real She looks like a bad girl. Yeah. Like she looks yeah, like a bad what girl. Like. Yeah. What I love about the video is that it there's something very clean about it. Like yeah. visually, the like the way it's shot well. And I love the air. The air shots. views, yeah, are just amazing. Mm -hmm. And I, I get what they're trying to do. Um, and it, it worked. It did, yeah. Mm. Well done, well done. Good song. Yeah. The song has been out for a bit, though. Yeah. So I feel like the video was delayed, but then but that's it was what worth happened. the wait. So, I mean, it, it would have been terrible if after waiting this long, the it was video, video was not. Yeah. 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 Good are you, stuff. Are you a big music fan? Yeah. 
I like Don Jazzy. <laughs> <laughs> Does that count as being a music fan? No, it counts as everybody like Don, Don Jazzy. Do you have a crush on Don Jazzy? A little. Just a Small, little something. A very tiny one. You'd like to make him some Thai curry sometimes? Yeah, uh -huh. Nigerian, Nigerian green curry. curry. Hey, oh, okay. Yes, yes, yes. Ooh, Don Jazzy. Yeah. Hey. The next show. <laughs> the next show. Have him over. I know. Doro and then and, I'll, and I'll come. <laughs> Do, did you hear him say Doro Kichi Doro Kichi Kichi Doesn't sound good. Like, we have you know, really entered problem here today. Hashtag. Okay? Doro okay. Kichi 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 So do you listen to a lot of Nigerian music or... Yeah. Nah, she I do, doesn't. No, I do, I do, <laughs> I do. But like, I wouldn't be able to tell you. Like, I like Wizkid, mm -hmm. uh, Peace Square. Mm -hmm. uh, who else? Like, am I? No. I don't know any of his songs. Ah! <laughs> you, might have, you might be familiar when you hear them. Yes, yeah. yes. Okay. But I just, I like the beats. Mm -hmm. so, but I think my favorite is um, Davido. Mm -hmm. Davido. Okay. Um, the song he did with um, Mav. Mafinzi Golo, yeah. yeah. That's so, a good one. I like, I like the beat. Yeah. For a lot of people, music is what they do when they want to unwind and everything. Yeah. Yeah. Is cooking your own thing? Cooking, cooking is too. Is that how you unwind? <laughs> That's how I unwind. <laughs> yeah, so, especially at night. So, I like to cook, like, at midnight. Oh, ah, wow. When everyone's asleep. Because then I can, like, it's therapy. So, I can think. Mm -hmm. I can try. I can process days. I can process projects and, you know. Yeah, okay. over a pot, staring. Um, and yeah. while your mind too is like kind of mulling things over. Yeah, oh, okay. Nice. Cooking well, is definitely my thing. Cooking and writing. Cooking and writing, yeah. fantastic. Cool. We're gonna take a quick break right now. Um, going to continue to help Ozoz in the kitchen and we'll see you guys out after this, where we bring you our topic of the day. <laughs> Hello there and welcome back to The Spot. Remember to join us on Facebook, Twitter and also via email. I'm very happy right now because Ozoz is making the kitchen smell amazing and you guys know how I feel about food. Zainab, can I just cut in here and say something? What? I just wanted to tell you how beautiful you look today. Oh, thank you. You're welcome. <laughs> she lied. <laughs> You can't take away her joy. I just gave her some like, <laughs> She's like, I'm she's so at you. <laughs> I'm so sorry. I don't take compliments very well. Um, Why though? I don't. I don't know. I think it's a lot just, of people are that it's way. It's just weird. There are people who love compliments, but there are people who never really. Just... Like when I was modeling, I used to hate it. Like, I just literally act like you didn't say anything to me, and yeah, I don't, yeah, it, makes, it just makes me feel uncomfortable. You just be like, okay, I, yeah, and I'll, just go. Yeah, seriously, seriously. You be like, oh, this plants and chips. Yeah. Mm. Um, where are we now? I'm the same. We're on the topic. Oh, topic it's part of the topic yes, of the day. Yes, part of the topic of the day. The topic is um, Lekwa versus Oroboro. Now, for those who don't know, like Lekwa me. is like a slang term, Nigerian, right? Like yeah, you're Yoruba right, actually. slang term for a slim woman. Um, and Oroboro is for a curvier, bigger thick. woman. Thick woman, yeah. And they're constantly being played off of each other every day. We see it and we get tired of it. Like, it like, like bars are the ones that don't eat, that, you know, they just, they can pass out at any minute. Ah. And Ouroboros <laughs> are apparently the most desirable woman for men, first choice. Yeah. Um, you take the lekwa out as a trophy, but inside the house? Oh, not really. You want to know. That's what, you know, we do. Okay, know. well, we can discuss that. Yeah. I mean, yeah, there are people who like to show up the cover woman. Yes. It's their spec. Mm -hmm. And they feel like people appreciate that more. Mm -hmm. I like... All the... This is going to sound so wrong. No, it's all right. Just say, just say I like the curvier woman. Um, I also like the dark shade woman. You're going to but continue. I know. But, yeah, you guys know what I mean. Like, when I, when I think of um, what's the most beautiful thing yeah. ever, I think the dark skin woman and the nice little curve. Yeah. I think it's something we've talked about here a lot because we're not sure how to draw the line between this curvy yeah. and thick and fat or as offensive like, as that is get, these days. Yeah, so when you say you like a curvy woman, like where do you, what, what does it mean? Do you, do you think you have an idea? No, but it, it shouldn't that be down to personal preference, really? Yeah. Like, you know, right. like people, sometimes people want to hold things. Yeah. People like so, love handles. So that, I guess it's, I think it's really individual. No, 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 all I'm saying is, is there like a universal like definition? I think of curvy? Curvy. I think so. of curvy. medically, oh what of curvy? No, of um, horrible fat and stuff. Yes, medically, 
once you've reached a certain body mass or whatever, then you've gone over that line. Even for kids, right up until when you're an adult, once you've gone over a certain number, then you're considered fat, whether or not you like it, or whether or not you even look like you're fat. Yeah. Well, don't mind me, just, Cause, cause you know, I, know, I always hear people say, I mean, curvy, when I hear curvy, I just think of curves. Mm-hmm. Not necessarily, it doesn't matter how big the body Wide side or... is, or, but I mean, if you're curvy, I think that's, yeah, it means, women can be it means curvy. That's the yeah. thing. That's, that's what I'm saying. That's exactly yeah. my point. It just means the yeah. the most interesting parts are more amplified no, than exactly. the others. No, it just I mean curvy it. It really just means that anybody that's curvy, all it means is um your what is it? How do they say it? Oh, I know there's a like a ratio. Your Third bust. Body, no, not even that. As long as your bust and your hips are the are same size while your waist is it's markedly uh, slimmer, slimmer, smaller, people. then you have a curve. So you could literally be 30, 12, 30. That's a curve. You know mm-hmm. what I mean? It's just not 45, yeah. 24, 45. So it really just depends, I think. I'm looking like a Coke bottle. Basically. Yes. So. I don't know. I don't know. That lekwa, when I moved back to Nigeria... <laughs> Ah, I heard that one time. I mean, I still hear it. I still hear it. It's just so... But I think that I've learned a different way to sort of manage mm-hmm. it in terms of, like, not getting offended kind of by it. I was going to ask But it's the, it also offensive. the way people use it. Excuse yeah. me. It's also the way people use it. Because if you're... I mean, on my... One of my uh, messenger things, I put... After the song, um, Le- see this, Lekwa Lekwa Toba, yeah. I took that. I was like, Lekwa Toba. So I put it on one of my, mm-hmm. like, status messages or whatever. And I'm like, I'm cool with that. So some of my uncles or whatever, my friends, they'll be like, ah, lekwa so bad. And they just make fun and that's cool. But if I'm, if it's being used in a derogatory way, yeah. so it's the tone in which it's used, not necessarily the word itself, yeah, but the tone. that can be offensive. Yeah. So, yeah. Oh, well, it doesn't matter. It doesn't really, it shouldn't really matter because you like what you like, you know, like. And that's just what it is. Yeah, basically. Yeah. What do you like, Ibuka? Well, yeah, I said it so many For the times. 116th time. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry, don't be angry. <laughs> <laughs> I will speak for the African man. Mm-hmm. I like some curve. I mean, it's I don't know. There's no there's no guy I okay. know that would say he doesn't like actually some. You know, actually, it doesn't mean you find the other one just just tasteful per se. It just means you have you a like, preference. I want yeah. to um, slightly take that back. Um, I remember when the band was celebrating his 10th year anniversary. Mm-hmm. He threw a party in Lagos, mm-hmm. hosted by uh, Sexy Amber Rose. Which, <laughs> Sexy Amber because Rose. that's what the ads kept on. Like, they wouldn't say her name. It, they made it seem like her full name was Sexy, Sexy Amber, Amber Rose. Rose. <laughs> and I remember asking a few people, are they going to go or whatever? And they're like, yeah, man, I'm going to go for Amber. I'm going to go for Amber. I was like, okay, cool. What do you want to see? To like, no, just that, that figure, that shape, that ass, the thighs and everything. And we see women on social media who are really, really slim on the waist and come in really mm-hmm. wide with a big ass or just big hips. Mm-hmm. And you get a lot of your um, popular socialites or even some media personalities. And that has somewhat become like a fantasized ideal body for type. certain guys, body type for guys. Yeah. Like they'll joke over it and yeah. stuff, but... Apparently, I hear that it's not the kind of thing that you'd like to have at home because it's, there's so much to handle. Ugh. But isn't that why Kim Kardashian is very popular? So we're going to take a break. Maybe you guys share with us your preferences or what you think about Kim Kardashian and the rose. Are those your ideal body types? If not, let us know. And we'll see you guys in just a moment. <laughs> Welcome back, you guys. You're still watching The Spot. Our topic of the day, which we've been talking about with the lovely Ozos, the kitchen butterfly, is Lekwa versus Orobo. And, um, sorry, sorry. Yeah. They have a very interesting name. Which one? Ozos. Ozos. Yes. I'm from Edo State. So that's short for... Ozozoma. Ozo, 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 Ozo. oh, yeah. And it means everyone should give birth to children. Wow. Oh. <laughs> well, I have Why are you three. rolling your eyes? Wow. <laughs> I have three, so I always say that I've lived up to my name. Oh, right? so everyone! It's all I've actually never heard that yeah, name ever. Yeah, that's what I had to ask. Yay, hey, I'm special. Yes. Oh, oh, nice. so. oh, okay. okay, so I just had to ask. Go on. Okay, so while we're plating up, still on the topic? Yes, still on the topic. Well, interestingly, you said something during the break, or while you were 
throwing to break that yeah. it's interesting or how it sounded like it you were just objectifying the whole do you like the shape do you not like the shape and i think that's probably the biggest problem a lot of women have with that categorization because there are just so many ways to be categorized mm -hmm. but you just choose this way yeah. and it just it gets a bit it's just like really is there nothing else so it gets a bit <sighs> I think I think we're all guilty of it actually men women did you ever see the controversy with this fit woman person who put up a picture of herself after giving birth yes with a caption she had a six pack right yeah she, she had a six pack and she had her like, kid next to her like I have like, a child no excuse what, yeah what's your excuse what's your excuse or something like that and, and women went hate. in and were like why are you you're making you're, yeah yeah fat shaming yeah fat shaming I'm yeah. just like now, that's where you draw the line between all of these things because she can be proud of her body, mm -hmm. which I think is great. I mean, yeah. she has a child, she has a six pack. Mm -hmm. Why not show it off? Yeah. But then it's not, is it the language you use or no, but, you shouldn't even say it at all? What, what, no, You're going to say something? How do women get six packs? What do you mean? Like, <laughs> like, 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 I don't get, like, what do you mean when you say six pack? Like, <laughs> she had like she a rip, like a full on. Yeah. Boom, boom, boom. But her boom, daughter like, was. Um, I mean, it wasn't like a newborn baby yeah. or anything. No, no, no. But she it had was a like child. a toddler, she had like a, yeah, yeah, like a, a three toddler. or four year old. Okay. okay. So, so it was just interesting that, yeah, she's very, but that's what she does for a living. She's like ah. a fitness person. It's mm -hmm. not like she does it on the side. That was another thing. Most of the comments were like, yeah, I mean, it's a we go to work. Yeah. Mm -hmm. you, you yeah. Don't, we can't all just be you who you live in but the gym. Then, like, like you said, like, we just, that shouldn't be that woman's problem. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. Whatever you feel about you and your body and how much time she has to work out that's just her lifestyle and what she has you have your own issues however big um however busy you are or how hard it is for you to lose weight or whatnot you shouldn't deflect that onto another person yeah. and even in we we can't expect these magazines and tv shows and we need to stop relying on them to tell us what you know, we're supposed to what we're supposed to but it's like. hard it is difficult it's hard but it i mean it's hard. been happening I just, for years yeah. you've been indoctrinated like we know that there's an issue so why do you keep buying into it i think it's because the the images and the message beneath those images are so relentless yeah. it's not as if it's a phase and then it stops it's every magazine it's you, you, you know what i'm saying it's pardon change the magazine but you see it you can't avoid you, you don't we don't you live in a bubble and you can choose in that moment yes you can but everybody has a, your, a weak moment everybody has a weak moment. Okay, I'm, I'm, not denying, I'm not denying weak moments. <laughs> yeah. um, everybody i'm not 100 percent comfortable with the way i look there was a time when i wanted to be bigger and i wanted to put on weight and it just didn't happen but i'm just saying that you can't hand off the key to how you feel about your body like we have to accept we're gonna a, get wrinkled we ha i have flipping cellulite and i'm not supposed to have have any because i'm slim and skinny like mm -hmm. there are things that are gonna happen and we have to accept it it's a very it's a very tough thing to do like we've talked about pop culture here a lot of the time and these are things that are in your face it's even worse now because the media has changed from what it was in the 80s where you have to go looking for media. Now everything is around you. There's social media. There's yeah, TV. Yeah. There's so much TV. Like you just be there's minding. There's the internet. Like everything you open, you might be reading the news. There's a small advert on the side that pops at you. It's yeah. in your face now so much. Yeah. And I even think credit to some of these people who do these things now. Things are even different now. You still, you, I mean, I, I don't know that Kim Kardashian would have been so anybody's idol before. Mm -hmm. with her kind of body. There are people who still call her fat yeah. with the way she looks. Yeah. But she's on TV now. People see her constantly. Amber Rose is on TV. You know, there are, there are, there was um, this lady's uh, show, Top Model. Um, she brings Tyra on... Tyra Banks. I mean, yeah. people yeah. say that her plus size are not actually plus size. Yeah, but, but they're not the regular different. model We've look. even seen Tyra. So you're starting to see things different. We've even seen Tyra go, go through. We've yeah. seen Oprah go through <laughs> her own challenges. So it's like, <laughs> I said fat, sorry. But exactly, why can't we say fat? No, Tara wasn't saying, fat, I'm saying, though. I'm not talking about you. I'm yeah. just saying generally, like, you know, you say fat, people are like, don't say that word. Yeah. It's a word. And you it know, means and it's something. like, it means That's something. That's true. These are all the things that we just keep fighting. Like, mm -hmm. why is it a problem? You know, I don't know. It's a lot it's, of things. And I, th I just th I think we're in each other's space a lot as well. Because yeah. you could be in that bubble. Like, you could be feeling. I know the days when I'm feeling on point. Do you understand? I feel on point. I post the pictures on Instagram and somebody's child from somewhere who's having brain touch will come and say something <laughs> he feels about the way I look. You, mm -hmm. You've had, I mean, there was one, a picture I uploaded that somebody made a comment and I just don't, I tend not to, 
I wasn't in the mood. I was like, I was in a good mood. I just deleted the comment because I was like, well, people are going to start getting upset. But by that time, people already started fighting over the comment that the yeah. person made about my body shape. You know what I mean? So I just feel like you could be minding your own business and someone will come and throw that in your face. Ah, but you don't look like Amber Rose or whatever. So it's, it's everywhere. And you're right. We need to figure out a way to deal with it. Some so is this do... something you've dealt with? Generally, how do you handle it? I think everybody has. Yeah. Like you said, even when you're slim, when you're fat, whether you're skinny, curvy, mm -hmm. people will always make comments. They always, yeah. But these days, I just say to myself, you know what? It's my life. Like, I go to bed alone, mm -hmm. really. I have to deal with whatever issues by myself. So I'm not going to let anyone add to that. Add to the issues I have or dictate to me what, you know, how what I wear or how I look is a problem. That's yeah. that's my personal business. Yeah. I think it's okay to comment, but we need to be respectful that, you know, of people's spaces. Of people's spaces and yeah. stuff. Guys, be respectful. <laughs> I'll be right back. That's the what food is ready. Yes. So by the time we're back, we're going to be having something to what? eat. It looks gracious. See you guys in a moment. Hi guys and welcome back to The Spot and here with me is the meal that we've been waiting for. <laughs> is it an extra has, guest? Yes, it's an extra guest. She served up um, mm. basmati with a Nigerian Thai infused green curry. Hey. Did I do it Justin? You did good. What it is, what it is, is this, is this, this delicious. Is this is supposed to be healthy? Is. A healthy option on this ice cream? Well, it doesn't, it doesn't have a lot of oil. Yeah, it doesn't have a typical oil. Um, and the only ingredient with really high calories is the coconut milk. But coconut milk is good for you. Yeah. It has good, a good type of Can you fat. use coconut fat. water instead? You wouldn't get the essence of the coconut. Yeah. Because coconut water is just... It's just... Yeah. It <laughs> doesn't have a strong coconut flavor. So you yeah. wouldn't get that cream... And you wouldn't get the creamy the texture as well. Mm. And we it's also have really a smoothie nice. here as well, right? Yeah. Our smoothie. Which has, so the smoothies oh, yeah. are healthy. Uh-huh. Um, it has papa, ginger, carrots, which are in season right now, and um, a bit of lime juice mm. and ice. Mm. Mm -hmm. Let's try and do some work in the it's process. Nice. Oh, I like the ginger. I like that little kick. Yeah, the ginger here. So this, this, for example, now, did you just come up with a menu that you watch or you made this part of, like, originally from yourself? Like, you just thought it up? Yeah. So, I'm obs right now. My obsession is with scent reads. So I go through phases uh, where I'm obsessed with an so ingredient. So you just try things out with. So I've tried to take scent leaves from the, you know, like out of pottages and pepper soup to see what else I could do with it. Mm -hmm. And so I've done things like make a scent leaf syrup, oh. sugar syrup, which goes in no zobo. Way. Delish. What? Delish. Oh. It's like it's like the Nigerian. Just think of it as mint. Nigerian. And then, but this was just one day I had coconut in the freezer. I had scent leaves more than I needed, and I was like, okay, I'm going to experiment, just make up something. Yeah, that's it. So, what how, kitchen how, scientist? Yeah. How often <laughs> do you do this? Like, okay, you discover something and try it out, and does it always work? It does, of course, it doesn't work all the time. Like, I have many disasters, <laughs> and you know, but people think that because you blog and you write about food, you're like, yeah, perfect, mm -hmm. but I'm not. I, I still have difficulty measuring out the right amount of salt for eggs. Okay. So that's for me is that's <laughs> that's a constant fail, uh -huh. you know. But but I feel like that's like really hard though. No, no, no it is. Okay, see what what's it for you? If that's your constant fail, like for me, jollof rice is a constant fail. Like I can no matter how many times I think in all my years of cooking, I've gotten jollof rice right once. It tastes nice, but the consistency of everything doesn't mm -hmm. ever. I don't ever get it right. So everybody has their little kitchen struggle. And I, but I think also the, the whole culture of cooking in Nigeria is not one of measurement. Yeah. It, it's loose estimation. It's so, so a pinch here. Yeah, a, a pinch here, a pinch there. there <laughs> it, which is what I'm trying to work on, like it's standardizing. Like, I like the fact that the loose estimation gives you the freedom. You have the, you know, you can be creative. But I think that in terms of consistency, you need to have yeah. standard measurements. Yeah. So, yes, so sometimes you make something... And you just put a pinch of this and a pinch of that and whatever, and it tastes perfect. But you can't get it right the Again. next time because you just don't know how yeah. much of this you put in and how much of that you did. So when I'm in, sorry. Go on, no, finish well, when I'm in the kitchen, I always have a pen and paper. And a paper oh, ready. Oh, okay. Yeah. 
I was going to say, when you go through this phase where you maybe you're inspired to try out something, do you do the testing yourself or do you have someone? Because I'm trying to volunteer here. <laughs> what just is it? Go she on. said she has three kids. <laughs> I have three children who like love food. So once they spoil your face, you'll be like, no, uh, that one didn't work. And they'll, they'll, just, they'll tell you, oh, mama, this is, mm -mm. it doesn't taste good. Mm -hmm. Or they suggest. But usually, if I make something, I'll test it multiple times. And I'll okay. have friends over or family over and then. Well, yes, we can so strike what are, a deal. Mm -hmm. so what are the plans, like future plans for Kitchen Butterfly? So, Kitchen Butterfly. Um, the first is a cookbook. Mm. I'm working on a cookbook with Farafina based on my blog. Nice. So, it's going to be memoir esque, but with oh. recipes focused on Nigerian cuisine and what I like to call Amen. the new Nigerian kitchen, which is basically reimagining, using our ingredients, familiar ingredients, new. New ways. ways. That's really nice. And I love that, that idea. A yeah. lot of people are trying to do stuff that's similar. And I like that it's a lot of, I see a lot of Nigerian and African people making sure that our stuff is written down and properly documented, properly diarized, so that anybody else, because I mean, we all buy like the Italian food cookbook and the Chinese food cookbook. Why shouldn't someone be able to buy the Nigerian food cookbook or the yep. Kenyan or the Ghanaian or whatever? So I'm happy with I like with the that. new idea because I feel like. We've talked about it here where it looks like we, we get stuck because things have been passed down from our grandmother. You make a goosey soup this way and you can't do anything Any other way. besides make it, soup, make it into a soup or something. So it's like, it would be nice to see how you reward these things and um, any, sneak, any sneak peeks. Yeah. Um, will this recipe make it in there? Definitely. <laughs> will make it. Things like zobo with scent leaves, making a punch out of zobo. Mm -hmm. Things like um, sugar cane juice. Which oh is like the God. most amazing thing on earth. Wait. That sounds like wait. Sounds like sugar. You just you <laughs> just Oh, I'm so excited right now. I don't even know. Amazing with a squeeze of lime. When when's the book ginger. coming out? Sometime this year. When is your kitchen open? <laughs> <laughs> For me to come and just hang out. You know, whatever. We could be friends. Uh, don't worry. Next <laughs> next when when next time we'll we'll arrange something. Yes. Because I'm something. I'm up for that. I like to eat, so hey. and as they say in my family, hi dad, you need to beef up. You know, finish your food before me. I'm offended. <laughs> you know, since Zainab hasn't been talking, she was like, mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. It's I'm good. I'm a satisfied woman good. right now. Oh, you guys, this is really, really, actually very good. Do we not have something else to do? Pardon? We have, um... Oh, yeah, we do. <laughs> <laughs> we have social media roundup. Sorry, guys. What can I do? <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Zainab, you want to take that? Oh, <laughs> uh, yes, I will. I'll take social media roundup. Thank you. So, from... Ryan Okuba on Facebook, just came back from the uni and I realized how much I missed the spot on Ebony Live TV. Aww. I love you guys so much. Lamy Day and Hair, okay. Zainab and her beauty, Ibuka and his built board. You guys seem to, you guys should keep up the splendid job. Sometimes when I watch you guys, I wish I could do the same job with you guys. I hope and pray to meet you guys someday. I'm with you. Thank you, Brian. Appreciate Hi, Brian. it. Thank you for watching. <laughs> Next is from a Ghanaian spotter. Hey guys, it's so good to see you. Was away for three weeks and I must say I missed you a whole lot. And it and is it just me or is Ibuka looking handsome? Could it be I haven't seen an African man in a while? Hey. I just want to say thank you to all my fans out there. Um, it's been a blessing. Okay, last one. <laughs> Christophia TC. Christophia. <laughs> I keep wondering if anyone loves the spot like I do. I made some dis disciples for free for you guys at EO. The spot made me love EO. You guys need to come see us here in Anambra. Ah, thanks, your guy. We're there. I'm there already. I was there. I'll be back. <laughs> you were there at Christmas time. I'm like sweating. I'm like... <laughs> <laughs> okay. <laughs> Looks like we have to go on another break. Uh, when we come back, I have a sweet spot for you guys. And uh, we're still digging in. So stay tuned. I'm going for seconds. Hey guys, what's up? We're still digging in here um, on the spot. We've been having a good time with Ozo, and uh, this is uh, a very, very good meal. But it's time for me to share a sweet spot, and something we like to do is share I have a um, sweet spot. either you a do? sweet spot or a pet peeve. A sweet spot is, as I say, something that makes your heart smile. So something that just makes you happy. And mine today is food related. It's the smell and the taste of freshly baked bread, like hot bread. 
it makes me happy. Like, I don't even, even if I'm not hungry, even if I've eat, finished eating, like, two wraps of pounded yam <laughs> and a four, I will make room somewhere in, in my brain, somewhere, for the bread. I love... Fresh bread. Love it. Oh, I love the smell of fresh bread. Ever put hot butter in hot bread? Yes. Mm. And it melts it. Oh, it just cold makes butter. me so well, happy. It has to be cold butter. Yeah, so, just, yeah um, so it just goes like this. Salted. Oh, You're not looking up like Salted. <laughs> no, no, no. That Can't stuff burn. is the bomb. Woo! Yes. It's from your bakery, man. Mm. Oh, from your oven. In my university, we had yes. a bakery near my house. What's the mistake, man? It was small tenera breads that time. Mm. You just you, you wake up at six and you're just smelling it. She just calls you. Mm. And I buy like four. <laughs> Hi. My yeah. thing is garlic. I love the smell of um, sauteed garlic. Like oh. the moment you put it into a pan and mm. I use garlic in everything. I love it. I like I like garlic. I like the smell of garlic. Um, when you're when you're like if you're sauteing onions and garlic like together, yeah. that that aroma just ooh, makes me happy. But some people in my house don't like garlic, so. So you don't cook with it. I, I cook me, with it. I still sneak it in, but they don't love it. You do it for you. And I, I mean, I like garlic, but I think for me, the most amazing thing is cardamom, green cardamom pods. Okay. Okay. The smell, like you open up a pod and it's, you. F I feel my spirit lift. Like, really? Like if I'm sad, all I have to wow. do is smell. Open up some <laughs> cardamom or or lime. That or is great or great. The zest of lime. Mm. Heaven. Uh -uh. Can you see she's Wait, cardamom, wait cardamom, is, is that used in Indian food? It's used a lot in Indian food. Because uh -huh, yes. I was trying to, but I know it's not a common like Nigerian no, it's not common. Yes, spice yeah. or anything like but that. But I, I like lime. I mm -hmm. like bread, freshly baked bread. Mm -hmm. The smell. Mm -hmm. um, what else? I like limes. Any citrus. The smell mm. of any citrus grated. Yeah. Because you get the oils and it's almost like aromatherapy. Yeah. Do you have any other sweet spots? Maybe, I mean, they don't have to be food related. Also, my sweet spot are food related. <laughs> <laughs> cookbooks, mm. reading cookbooks to bed, especially mm -hmm. with glorious photos. Yeah. Um, what else do I like? Yeah, sorry, talking about photos. Nigerian food doesn't necessarily photograph well. It does. Sorry? It does, if you know how to. That's what I'm saying. Is it the food or the photographer? What do you think? Because I, 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 I don't see a lot. Once in a while, I see one that is like, okay, this is really nice. Mm. But it's almost like on the rare occasion. I think it's I think it's to do with the photographer, and the thing is that we need to move. We don't celebrate our food, right? So it's it's more like sustenance. So food on the table, on the plate, Presentation we is key. eat. But but I think if we move to the mindset of oh, this is food, this is something glorious. So you'd you'd be more careful about how you serve, yeah. with the plates you use, with tablecloths. Because I think if you had plates, mm -hmm. plain plates set upon. And crab tablecloths or yeah. adjure tablecloths. It would be amazing. Really It'd be yeah, it would be very pretty, pretty. yeah, to look at. Yeah. Thank you very much, Azaz. Um, a guy has to go and crash now because a guy is a lot of A guy and a girl. It was great. Thank you. And I'm glad this you guys awesome. enjoyed like it. Like I said, it's it really interesting nice. because it's a very new taste to me. Yeah. And I enjoyed it. It's yeah. not very often that you find that. So high five again. Thank you so, so much. Please come back again. My stomach thanks you. And of course, you guys, please come back next time. Bye. 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 Bye.